Hello. Well, as we're approaching the World Defence Show in Riyadh, there's so many things that we've got to be able to talk about. And one of those is the refurbishments, the refits of Saudi Arabia's C-130 fleet. Now, Saudi has the second largest fleet of C-130s outside of the United States. And so it's going to be quite a big program. Well, a key part of that, of course, is the avionics that makes all that difference. And we're joined now by Rich Kerslake from Collins Aerospace. He's the uh, Director of Business Development. And Rich, welcome to the program. Now, the C-130s, pretty major bid to be going in on. Yeah, and first of all, Anne, thank you for the interview. And uh, we're delighted to be able to attend the World Defence Show, and it's really good timing in terms of this modernisation programme for the Royal Saudi Air Force. Now, naturally, Collins will play a, a leading part in this avionics upgrade programme, but, of course, the competition at the moment remains in its early days. OK, now you've got, a, a, I would say, a special advantage with the merger um, that went through a couple of years back with Raytheon Technologies. So you're really in a nose-to-tail position on um, any bids for this. But can we concentrate on the nose end, at the sharp end of the aircraft and avionics? What's the difference that Collins is offering? Well, the pro product we're offering is called Flight 2, which has a core at its system, and around the edge of it are many configurable items that can be selected by the customer. So provided they remain within the core, then their initial costs are less and the, the solution is fully configurable, uh, particularly with the um, flight management system, which is fully partitioned. And one of the really uh, innovative offerings that we've got at the moment is our enhanced vision system, which uh, sits in a small fairing on the nose. It combines long-range and short-range infrared and synthetic vision to really give the operators and end users a battle-winning advantage. Now, we saw something like this at the Dubai Air Show at the end of last year on the commercial side. So I guess it's, it has the same attributes, if, I guess, if not more, when you're in those harsh conditions that the C-130s have to operate in. Yeah, well, C-130 operators tend to operate in the more austere and the rugged parts of the world with more demanding missions. Uh, and when the boundaries need to be pushed, they need to have solutions such as our enhanced vision system that can help them uh, complete their mission. And it works... With the use of a HUD, doesn't it? As, as, as you're flying it, you're up there. Yeah, so like I say, the blister on the nose contains three apertures from the three cameras. Uh, it then fuses all of that information into a single display, which is then projected onto the head-up display. And of course, the pilot has his um, flight information overlaid as well. So he's heads up, he eyes out, whilst flying in synthetic vision. And when we get into Riyadh, are you able to demonstrate this? Are you going to be showing this at the show? Yeah, we're very much looking forward to attending, and the Enhanced Vision System demonstrator will be on uh, the RTX booth, uh, which is our M3 in East Hall number one. Well, that sounds pretty good. So if you're coming to the World Defence Show, and you should be, do take a look at that one. It's going to be interesting as well, because also there are going to be some new propellers being shown, I think, as well, which is going to be part of that whole modernisation of the C-130 fleet. So thank you very much, Rich, for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in Riyadh. See you there.